Welcome back to Arrowhead Medieval Archery VR. In this video, we're going to be checking out Area 7. If you haven't already, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe. Heading for 25,000 subscribers, it would be fantastic if you were one of them. Also like, share, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the video or the game or any tips or tricks you have for Arrowhead or archery in general. So our current loadout is the composite bow and now we are rocking the lancelate arrows. So let's just dive into area seven. I've already completed area seven. I've actually got three stars on everything, which is awesome, but we're gonna go through it again just so you can see what it's all about. So we've got these new targets, these humanoid targets. which if you hit in the head or the vital chest, it's a one shot. If you hit them anywhere else, it still counts as a hit, but you need two hits in that case to knock them over. So I found this area pretty easy to get three stars because of that. There are just a lot of bullseyes when you count the heads and the chests of the human targets. Ooh, too high. See, that was an off bullseye, so it takes two shots. But as you can see, the, uh, oops, these setups aren't as complex. Yeah, I thought maybe that was going to be a little too slow as the previous area. Uh-oh, I don't think we're getting three stars on this one. because we hit that bullseye on the human target we actually got two stars so that was a miss we need a second shot to take down that fellow There we go. Okay. Oh, these small red ones. I find these rotating ones are a bit trickier than most of the other moving barriers. Okay, we still managed to pull two stars out of that. So here we have a blue target, which means it's going to reset after a timer. So we have to hit all three of these or we're gonna have to do them again so that was a miss we're gonna have to hit that target again and we're gonna run out of time here yeah so we gotta reset do all three again that's a miss okay chest targets a lot easier to hit 
This one's gonna reset again. So we'll just go with the one straight above. Still have a chance at this if we get a bullseye here, I think. Oh! Should've hit the center fellow. We need some bullseyes here. Nope. Okay, go for the middle one. Go for the shield. Go for the closest one this way. Got it. Yeah, I just found these human targets very easy to hit due to their size. Come out there. I know he's going this way again. There we go. 102. Okay, so here we have some bullseyes that we can stock up our arrows with if we hit. Did not hit. And then we have something on a track and a timer. Or not a timer, it's probably just going to do one cycle of the track. And then it's going to reset if we don't hit. Okay, so now we'll go for the blue, which there's no cakewalk right there. Okay, we've got two targets, but moving really slow. Okay, that one's down. And that one's down. That was 103, so we've got two more. I mean, obviously you want to hit these when they get to the end, but it's fun to try to hit them in the middle when they're going fast. It's just not, uh, not the way to go if you want the best chance of, uh, what did that hit? Down to one. Okay, that one's down. Oh! That really seemed like it was going to hit. But again, this is just uh, kind of greed or pushing myself, whichever you want to call it. Okay, two and third one. Level 104 complete. So this one's kind of fun lot going on. Again, you want to hit these at their extent, which is kind of tricky with everything else going on. And there we go. Level 105 complete. So we'll jump back to the menu. That was level seven, all the way to 105. If you haven't already, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe. Heading for 25,000 subscribers, it would be fantastic if you were one of them. Also like, share, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the video or the game or any tips or tricks you have for Arrowhead or archery in general. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.